Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be a really exciting video. I'm going to be trying out the New Meal Organics Pomegranate and Honey Collection. These products were sent to me. I want to thank Meal Organics and her team for sending these out to me to test and try out for you guys. I do apologize for my absence. I have been gone for about three weeks. Life happens. I know. I'm sorry, but I'm back. I'm trying these out. I did a new style. Twisting curl is always my favorite because once you take those rollers out, untwist your hair, you can always just create so many different things with that style. So today I did this cute little updo that I think is very fall appropriate. I love the fall time. I'm really, really happy for this season coming up. I'm a Halloween baby, so I'm always representing my Scorpios out there. And if you guys are interested on how I created this look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to be starting off on co-washed hair. The first product that I'm going to be going in with is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. You guys, this product was really good. I love the silky texture. It's very, very, very soft. It had amazing slip and it provided my hair with a lot of great shine. And I also like how well it hydrated my hair. I really like the consistency of it. It had a really lightweight texture so it didn't feel like it was weighing my hair down. And I focused this product from the root of my hair all the way down to the tips. The next product that I'm going to be going in with is the Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie. Now, this product I really did like. It has a very, very light texture. The texture of a actual conditioner that you rinse out. All of these products smell so amazing. And I also focused this product from the root to the tips of my hair after I applied that leave-in conditioner. After using the curl smoothie, the next step I'm going to be going in with is the twisting souffle. Now this product was very rich, thick and creamy in texture. I really like this product, but for my hair and for my hair type personally, I only focus this product on the ends of my hair. This product is very thick, it's very creamy, and it can get heavy really quickly. So I use a very, very light hand when I'm applying this product to the ends of my hair. What I really enjoyed so much about the Twist and Souffle was how well it hydrated and conditioned my hair. My hair felt very nourished. I feel like with every strand that I applied this product with that my hair was very nicely coated. And with the pomegranate and the honey ingredients that are in these products, it has really nice essential oil. And it's really, really great for giving your hair that good nourishment and also really great curl definition at the same time. In this collection, there's no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, and no animal testing. The last product that I'm going to be layering on my hair is the Pomegranate and Honey Curling Custard. Now with this product, it has a very gel-like consistency. It reminds me of a gel, yes, and it reminds me of like the flaxseed um, gel by Shea Moisture. But with that product, if you go in too heavy, then you would get like this very sticky texture. And with this product, it did not have that type of feeling at all. It was very moisturizing. And I really focused this product on the ends of my hair mixed with that um, curling souffle. I think that they were a really nice combination together. And I just tried not to weigh my hair down with too many products. So that's why I literally tapped the product onto the ends of my hair. I did not use a lot at all because a little bit does take you a very, very long way. So for each of my strands of hair, I wanted to show you guys like this amount is all that I use for every single strand of my hair. Yes, my hair is very thick, but it's not thick to the point where I feel like I had to heavily coat this product on there because my hair felt, I, I was scared that it would feel really weighed down. So I use a very light hand when I applied these products to my hair. So I'm going to finish the front section of my hair. I used the same method that I showed you guys before. I layered all four products, the leave-in conditioner and the curl smoothie. I focused on the root and the ends of my hair. And with the twist and souffle and the curling custard, I only focused those products at the ends of my hair because I didn't want my hair to be too weighed down and I find that method worked better for my type of curl texture. Um, with a twist and curl, you just want to make sure that you flat twist um, nice and tightly and when you get down to the ends of your hair, you want to get your perm rod. Any size perm rod will work just depending on your length and 
I like to coil my hair around the roller. So my hair is all complete. In total, I had about 12 twists going around my hair. So it's the next day and I always make sure that I apply any type of oil to my hair, whether it's um, coconut oil, argan oil. I think I just use like a little sample I had of the Life Proof Oil that I actually really liked. I always make sure that I have an oil on my fingertips before I start taking off my rollers and taking out my hair just to ensure that I just decrease any type of frizz. For my preference, um, personally, I found using this product wet was a overall better way to give the best definition. I have color in my hair that's actually growing out, so I always make sure that I take my time when I'm taking my twists out just to make sure that my ends are not frizzy because that's where I have the most frizz is at the ends. Overall, I think that these products were really nice. I really like the curl definition. I think the smell of these products alone are absolutely amazing. I think it's great timing that these products came out also because the colder weather is about to approach us and these products, they left my hair so hydrated, you guys, like super, super moisturized. And I really enjoyed that about these products. I think they work really well together. I didn't have any type of flakage or anything like that. So after I'm done taking out my twists, I'm now going to fluff with my hands first and I'm gonna go in with my pick and I'm going to pick my hair to create more volume so I can start going in with my updo style. After fluffing, you wanna go in with any type of edge control. I use the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Paste. I really like the edge control. You can go in with a gel or anything like that. And I'm now going to apply the edge control to these sides of my hair so I can begin to slick it up. I'm gonna get a soft um, bristle brush and I'm going to brush these sides of my hair. And then I'm going to bobby pin my hair once I get to the middle section of my hair. When I get to the middle section where it's time to bobby pin, I like just to twist my hair up just a little bit to secure the bobby pin to make sure the bobby pin doesn't move and it stays. After securing my hair, I just like to go in and fluff a little bit if I feel like some hair pieces are out of place. And with that, you guys, this tutorial is all complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching, and I highly recommend trying out the Miel Organics new pomegranate and honey curl collection i think the products were really great especially for the colder weather and you guys make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave comment down below and let me know have you tried these products will you be trying them out and if you did try them out how well do they work for you i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye